Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to let you know about an update for the new Microsoft PC Manager, which as I have posted previously is a new app that Microsoft is working on that is very similar to CCleaner and other PC optimization apps, which basically allows you to perform uh, computer maintenance and speed up your device with a single click if you uh, click on the boost button. Now at this stage, as I have posted previously, and I will leave links to previous videos in the description if that would be of interest, currently it seems to be a shortcut to existing features that are currently available um, as um, optimization tools in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So it's not actually bringing any new tools per se to the app to clean your computer. It's just pointing towards existing features that are used to um, maintain and uh, speed up and boost your PC that are available in Windows 10 and 11. Now, um, the latest update, if we just head to the gear icon at the top, click on settings, brings a new smart boost, which is a PC manager um, tool that will automatically boost your PC when high usage of RAM or there are one gigabyte of temporary files that have accumulated and are available on your system. Now this is actually toggled off by default. So if you want um, to automatically um, boost your PC when your memory usage gets high or your temporary files are over one gigabyte, like in my case, then you can toggle that setting on and um, then that will automatically take place in the background when your memory usage um, obviously reaches a certain point and your temporary files are over one gigabyte. Now the latest um, update um, is on version 1.26.63 and is at this stage only available on my Windows 11 device. I'm not seeing this latest update with the new Smart Boost on my Windows 10 device, so that could be on a controlled rollout. And I'll also leave a link um, in the description to the download location where you can actually download the uh, Microsoft PC Manager if that is something that would be of interest and you would like to try out. And over and above that new PC Boost, this latest version, I'm not seeing any more tools or additions to the app. Everything um, remains the same as I have posted on previously. And obviously just take note, it's still in public beta, so there could be certain aspects that are not functioning and working 100% as yet. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.